Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Tiffany and I'm the owner and artist at Tifton Studio. And today I'm working on a project for Bear Woods. Most of the products I have out here, you can get at Bear Woods and you can shop on their website. You can get a 5% discount off your purchase using coupon code Tifton Art. It works on almost everything on the site. I know there's a few exceptions. So for my resin today, I'm using the Moss Art Pro that I'm using in this mold. So this mold is the pop socket mold that Bear Woods carries. It has seven molds, I guess. <laughs> so three geode, three round, and a heart. And the entire mold takes about two and a half ounces of resin. But let's just go through the colors. So starting with the first geode, I'm going to be using the Breeries Teal. This is an alcohol ink. And the Mixol in copper. And I want to see if I can get the copper to drop through and create a flower design with copper. Usually I do it with white. I thought it'd be fun to try it with the copper. In the next geode, I am using two more alcohol inks from Breeries, the Berry and the Midnight. So Bear Woods does not carry the pinata, but if you have a white alcohol ink that is like a sinker, you could use that. So that's that one. The third geode is gonna be shades of brown and gold. For the main color, I'm using this Just Resin Pigment Paste. This is not available at Bear Woods. Any brown pigment color, you could even use brown mica powder, would be really nice for this. And then um, I'm using the Mixol Gold and the Brea Reese Gold alcohol ink. Um, the center heart I'm doing in red. So I've pulled out the Mixol red and the red dragon. So this is very bright red. This is like an like ketchup <laughs> red. And then this mica powder is a little bit more on the burgundy. It's got like a hint of pink in it. So I thought with Valentine's Day coming up, that would make a nice little magnet with a the heart. Then the first round one, and you could just use any navy pigment or mica powder. I just wanted something dark blue. And then the Mixol in silver. I thought that would be a really pretty color combination. So the second round one, I'm doing black, white, and silver. So I have the armor art. So I have just the black and the white, and then I'm using the easy flow white, and then I'm using the sterling mica. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a swirl design. We'll see. And then the last one is purplish pink. And again, you could use mica powder or any other kind of tint for this. Um, and then I'm using the rosy mica. This is a metallic pink. So that's what I've got going on here. So I am going to finish mixing up my resin and then the rest of this will be a voiceover because I will have my respirator on. So I'll see you in a minute. So I started with putting some clear in a couple of the spots, which um, I just hit those with the torch a second ago. So now I'm pouring into one of the spots that does not have clear. And this is the one I'm doing the brown and the two golds. So I'm just pouring in kind of a random zigzag pattern. Um, not really any, any design to it. Um, I'm trying to see how these colors are gonna mix and blend together, especially with having that alcohol ink in there. And so as it's getting full closer to the top, I'm using my stick to put the resin in because I don't want to overflow it. And now I am doing the blue and silver. I, I like to um, hit my resin with a heat gun before I pour it out of the cup just to get some bubbles off the top. If you do that, you do have to be careful not to melt your cup, <laughs> but that's always a good way to minimize bubbles when you're pouring. So this one I'm doing a very similar thing to what I did with the brown and gold, just pouring in a random zigzag pattern. But this one I'm only using two colors and the brown and gold one I had three. So wanting to see what the difference is, especially with having that alcohol ink in the first one. Okay, this next one I am using the black, silver, and white. And I am trying to create kind of a striped design with a black on the edge, the white in the center, and then the silver in between. So right now I'm just applying the three colors in just kind of a striping pattern. And then it's not full, so I come back and I put a little bit more of each color in there. Just trying to keep that same look with the white in the center and the silver in between the black and the white. And I like to clean my mold up as I go. It just makes it easier for finishing later. So this next one, I'm pouring the pink mica powder in first. 
And it was a little bit transparent, so I thought I would try and see if I could get some dragon skin effect, which um, I have some tutorials on my YouTube where I do this. And um, I've never done it with mica as the first layer, so I thought, eh, might as well give it a try. So I did a little puddle pour there with the mica and the pigment paste. Now I am going to do the heart. And I decided to pour each of the three colors in a corner. So I wanted to see how they would kind of blend together or join together in the center. When you do this in a round mold, you tend to get kind of a, a pattern. You can see it happening on the brown one there where it's uh, the colors all move directly towards the center. But with a heart shape, I wanted to see if that would be different. So now I just dropped some of the green alcohol ink into one of the spots where I had put the clear earlier. And I'm just spreading it out because the clear is starting to thicken up and the ink isn't wanting to spread on its own. And now I'm just swirling some of that copper in just kind of a spiral. Add a little bit more. And then the last one here, I'm using the blue and the purple alcohol ink, just putting a couple drops of each in there. And again, it's not really spreading because the resin is thickening up. So I'm gonna take my toothpick and just kind of spread it around a bit, help it out. And then um, some white, this is the Blanco Blanco. And I contemplated adding more color and then I thought, nah, <laughs> the, uh, the mold is really shallow and I didn't want to have any, any issues with it curing. So and then I just took the toothpick and did a little swirl. So here's what they look like right after pouring. And I will show you in a second what they looked like the next day. Okay, everything is cured. So the fun part, the demolding, we'll start with the pink one. All right, so we got a little bit of a crackle effect in there. This one, this is probably going to be the top. I think the bottom is just going to be kind of stripes from when I poured. Yep. <laughs> so this will be the top of this one. All right, the blue. So these two I poured just kind of zigzag with the different colors. So I'm thinking the bottoms are going to have that zigzag look. Yep. So this will be the top. And I think the same thing for this one. It's kind of cool actually. Hmm. I'll have to think about which side I want to use for the top. Okay, so this was the one where I dripped the alcohol ink on top and then put the white in. So I'm curious to see if anything sank or if this will end up being the top. This looks pretty cool. Well, it looks like a little galaxy, but I'm eager to see the back. All right. Oh, so the swirl is there. There's some feathering, but maybe a couple more drops of white would have made it drop further. Cool. All right, so this one, I swirled the copper in. So I did not, I didn't drag it or anything. I just swirled the copper, so. Well, that's interesting. So it did sink a little bit, but not as much as white would sink. But you can definitely see the ridges in there. You can see a little bit of it. It even pulled some of the green down. That is really cool. I'll have to experiment with this more. That was kind of fun. All right, and then the heart. So I'm thinking the back is just gonna be kind of blobby like the blue one, I think, since I just poured in three spots, it's probably gonna look similar to the front. Yep. I'm not sure which side I like better. This side has a little bit of, um, it almost looks 3D with where the mica was. And I kind of like the more organic. I don't really like the straight lines on this side. I think I'll use this as the top. All right, so that was that. So now all I'm gonna do is glue the magnets onto the back and these will be done. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. 
and please give a subscribe to the Bear Woods channel. Check out my YouTube, Tifton Studio, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.